going on? You're Matt Fit, and I'm Matt. Doing obliques and the famous V. Progression, you don't want to start out too heavy. Ladies, start off with a 10. Tighten up, you want to flex. And keep breathing. For some reason, people have a tendency whenever they start to strain to just stop breathing. So, good form as well. You don't want to sling it around. That's not doing anything. You're just going to risk a chance of And You want to keep your hand right here. Right at the little V. Right here. So as you go down, you exaggerate. You should be feeling it here and here. It's flexing here. Come back. Overextend. You want to go low and slow. Just like that. You don't want to be bending back, forward, again, risk of injury. Keep breathing. If it gets too easy, come up and wait. Look at yourself in a mirror. It can help. Make sure you have right form. This is something that you can do every day. Sort of a mystery that adds can only be done every other day like every other muscle group, but they are very, very fast to recuperate. We have core. People, some people think core is just abs. Core consists of front abs, six pack, obliques, transverse abs, inner abs, and lower back. If you get a strong core, that'll make everything else easier. As you're running, a lot of people catch back cramps. That's no more cramp or on the side. That just means you have a weak core. Start running, you lean it over. You have a strong core, which wraps all the way around, and it's protecting your spine. Because if you work the front all the time, you're trying to give up, you're going to have that hunched over. You're going to have good posture. That's what we focus on. All right, if you're in the gym, put down the mat. If you're at home, put down a towel. Keep working, gym or at home, or in the grass, anywhere you're at. Just something soft, because you're going to be on your forearm. So this is the plank. Get on your forearms. You can keep your arms apart, arms closer, whatever's more comfortable. Make sure your back is flat. Make sure your butt's not sagging. Make sure you're not up. Anybody can hold this. And make sure you keep your head up. Because if you're down, you're not going to be breathing as well. Try to hold it first time, 20 seconds. Instead of burning out. And if you have a mirror next to you, say I have a mirror right there. I'm looking at my reflection. Perfect. And breathe. This entire time, flex your abs. It's called a dive bomber. Put your butt in the air, it's like yoga rising dog. Smooth down. Stretch that lower back. Again, come back up. Lift one leg, opposite arm. We're gonna focus on obliques. We're still doing the plank, just this time it's gonna be side plank. Whatever side is on bottom, left side is on bottom, that's the size we're gonna be working. This is that V. Get on your forearm, hand on your hip. Make sure your feet don't slip. You might want to put a weight or an extra towel or anything, just so you don't slip. Get up. Try to come as high as possible. If I just sit up halfway, still feeling it, but over-exaggerate. Once I come to the top, kind of make a triangle. I feel it right here, and it wraps around my lower back. I'm gonna come down, don't touch the ground. Go as low as you can. My hips almost on the ground. Extend. If you have a mirror next to you, or in front of you like I do, you can look at your form. Make sure you're not too far over, too far back, straight back. This is just like when you had the weights. Once this gets too easy, on the last one, you can hold it at the top. At this portion, once you have a strong core, arm in the air, nice Pilates. Act like you're gonna hug yourself, sounds funny, just wrap around. Try to go as far as you can. Curve back up. Next up, lower abs. That's one of the hardest parts to work. Everyone's six pack really starts at the top. Then you look at some people, they have the first three, but they don't have the bottom. So you're flat on the ground. The key to this, keep your chin up. The second your chin comes up, your abs are already flexing. Put your arms straight out. Every time you pump up, breathe. Three, four, five. And when you're pumping, we're not going all the way up. We're just gonna pump enough. It's just like a crunch, but you're gonna feel this a lot more. Arms out, arms helping you balance. 
on your fifth crunch. Fifth, and sit all the way up. And this is working your lower abs, and you're gonna stretch your hamstrings, work on flexibility. We like to combine different workouts, not to work on muscle. We crunch, we sat up, lean over, on the way back, we're gonna work your transverse abs and your lower back. Chest up, back straight. Come back as slow as you can. You're trying to get each part of your spine to hit the ground. Back straight, arms out, keep your chest up. You're gonna go back as slow as possible, getting each part of your spine to hit the ground. Each individual part. What we're trying to get rid of is this. Don't drop. If you're gonna fight it, fight it. Get rid of that drop. So come back slowly, breathe. Get a med ball, ladies, six or eight pound, fellas, 12 pounds, 15 pounds, maybe even a 20. On the front, twist. If you feel like it's not really working, look over at each side that you turn to. If I'm turning to the left, I'm gonna act like I'm putting the ball behind me. From this part, crunch up. Lower abs. Personally, I like to keep it on my chest so I'm not cheating. Once that gets easy, twist. 